What's up guys and gals, Epic Tim here and today we've got a Repair Pal video about your house and not your car. So if you've ever walked into your bedroom or living room, pulled the chain for the lights and nothing worked, none of the lights came on, but the ceiling fan still works, I've got the fix for you right here in this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull off your light assembly. And on mine, there's three screws around the perimeter of this light assembly, Phillips head, here, here, and here and then your light assembly will drop down and there are two quick disconnect clips right here. Go ahead, take a plastic instrument, pop those loose and take your light assembly off and set it to the side. The very first thing you're gonna wanna do is check for power at this quick disconnect. Now it is a hot circuit at this point. You're gonna wanna make sure that the fan is in working order So we've got power to the entire assembly. These two leads should be hot. So we're gonna take a multimeter, if you have one, or a test light that you may have fashioned out of a light bulb base and a little bit of a wire. Set your meter to AC. And now what we're gonna do is check for power on those two leads. What I like to do is take my probe clip and stick it in the quick disconnect slot so that it is touching the electrical tip of the wire and then take a look at your meter and you can see at this moment we're at about 5.4 or 5, 5.5 volts or so uh, which is not enough to power these light bulbs. We need to be about 120 volts. There's a power limiter right here there's two things you can do here you can buy a new power limiter via the model number on the back this is an XL 190 or you could take this out and today that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take this power limiter out and get the lights working again we'll order this box replace it at a later date very simple so I'll show you here real quick what you need to do so this box is for your fan control this little box is for your light wattage limiter there's three wires coming out of this one uh, pretty common. What you need to do is take a look and make sure that yours follows the same path, but most of them should. This black wire will come out of this box and go straight to the flow for everything else. This white is going to go to a bulkhead junction. This same connector has this white coming out here, and then this red is going to go through and hook up to our blue wire uh, right over here. If you want to verify, you should have 120 volts AC between this blue wire coming in, which turns to red, and then your white connector right here. Let's go ahead and test that real quick. Yep, sure enough, we've got 120 volts AC so we know that this wattage limiter is bad. What we've essentially done is bypass this little box from going through and coming out this black wire, red to black. We're just going straight from red, which is pigtail to blue, up in the ceiling, coming around. Now we've got 120, we've confirmed that this part is bad. So what you're gonna do is leave your quick disconnect white wire alone. It's got a little zip tie that we're gonna get rid of. Make things a little bit easier. So we're gonna isolate these two options. We're essentially gonna take this black wire and we're gonna go straight to this red wire. We'll put a little wire nut on there and then I'll come back on video and show you what's going on. I'm gonna perform all these changes with the power off. You do not wanna be messing around here trying to wire this thing up hot. That's how you get hurt real easy.
When you're putting these wire nuts on, I like to twist everything clockwise when it's facing you. That way when you put the nut on, it doesn't wind up everything that you've done. So you've seen a little bit of how I put this together. Now what I do is I take these two wires and pinch them nice and tight, twist your wire nut on, and then as soon as it kind of stops and there's a lot of friction, it's not free spinning anymore, you're done. Give it a quick tug and then you'll be good to go. So we're going to kick uh, the power back on and then you'll see as soon as the lights come on the fan will start spinning. So we're going to let that slow down, plug the lights in, I'll show you how everything works. Now it's real simple, take your old light, make sure you match up white to white and black to black. Ta-da! The lights work! So what we do now is take everything, tuck it up in there back nice where it was, be careful of your wire nuts, and line up these holes. And these holes are going to be what dictate how the lamp assembly goes back on. <clears throat> Some fans will be different than others, but on mine, there's a notch for this switch. We want to make sure that we line everything back up just the way that it come apart. Now that we've got everything back together, let's give it a quick little test. Fan seems to work. Lights seem to work. Everything's in place and steady. Nothing's falling off. We did a good job. Thanks again for watching Repair Pile. Make sure to stop and visit us. We do a lot of automotive related content on this channel. If you're having any trouble with your car, stop on in and we'll get you taken care of. Have a great day. What are you doing, buddy? You being a good boy? Okay, then.